What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So first thing, I'm kind of excited because uh, there's no more bunk bed in the background behind my videos anymore. So I finally got my new couch for my office. So this looks a lot better in the background than uh, having to crop this down so there's not a giant bunk bed behind me. Um, so just a little side note there, I was really excited about that. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to do editing of different curves. So everything from simplification to welding lines to um, just, just a whole bunch of different tools from Fredo 6 that allow you to do different operations on lines. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Specifically, I want to thank my two newest supporters, Ed Hearn, and I'm going to butcher this name, so I'm just going to put it down below, but thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Maybe consider supporting. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. And so this week's extension, voted on by my Patreon supporters, is Curvizard. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Curvizard. Plugin developer, Fredo6. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developers. Where can you get it? It's located in the Sketchication Extension Store or you can check out the link in the notes down below. Tool Functions This extension is a tool from Fredo 6 designed to help you work with curves in different capacities. It contains several tools that help you combine, separate, simplify, and do other things to curves. There's an excellent help file for this extension located in the Sketchication forums. I'll link to that in the notes down below. First, let's note that you can actually turn these icons on in the toolbar by visiting the first menu option, clicking on the settings icon, and then checking the boxes for icons visible in toolbar. You may have to restart SketchUp for these changes to show up. Now let's go through some of the functions of this extension. Function 1, Make Curves, is basically a weld function. So this functionality operates very similarly to the weld extension from TIG that we've talked about in the past. It basically can take a series of curves or edges and make them into a single uninterrupted edge. This can be useful for several different reasons. Um, it's particularly useful if you're going to extrude anything having to do with that edge as you'll be able to do it with a smooth face. One of the benefits of this version as opposed to the other versions is that this one will allow you to weld multiple different curves at the same time. Explode Curve explodes curves into different edges. So it's very similar to the built-in SketchUp Explode Curves tool, but it only with a notable difference. Um, this will work on curves that are inside of groups and components, where with the SketchUp version, you have to have the raw curve geometry selected in order for it to work. Clean up contours. Uh, this tool will look at different contour lines and try to clean them up. So this is especially useful if you bring things in like CAD files for site work or anything like that. So the way this works is it'll do two different things. So the first thing it does is it takes a look at lines made up of points that are collinear, meaning the different points are in a line and it's made up of different edges, and it'll combine these lines into a single group. That means that there will be less segments in your line and it's less stuff that SketchUp has to deal with and try to render. Second, it also tries to remove small spikes in your edges. So this allows it to reduce the number of edges that SketchUp has to display. So I'm not getting consistent results from the cleanup contours option. So you may be better off just going with the simplify contours option that we're going to talk about next. Simplify contours is similar to cleanup contours, but this one basically takes a look at your contours and simplifies any segment with an edge angle under a value that you set. So this can be great for removing spikes and extra edges, as well as smoothing complex meshes out. Once again, this is especially useful if you're dealing with things like imported topography. So Smooth Contour, instead of focusing on removing spikes or edges, Smooth Contour focuses on smoothing out all of the edges in your contour into an average smooth spline. So there's two different settings for how this works. There's a B-spline, which will create edges inside your original contour, and the F-spline, which will create edges outside your original contour. 
You can adjust the average angle of the curve as well, which will allow you to reduce the number of segments in your curve. This extension is very much about allowing you to manage the different segments in your curves. So edge properties will allow you to bulk adjust the properties of different edges. This can be especially useful if you're trying to uh, bulk hide or bulk show hidden geometry inside an object. And then finally, Convert to Guide will allow you to make a curve, take a curved line and create a guide with a construction point at each vertex. It'll convert your curve to a guideline. So all in all, this basically this extension is about edge management. So, and that's probably why I haven't gotten to it until now. It doesn't actually draw any of the edges. It takes edges that you've already created and it'll smooth them and fix them and make them run better in SketchUp. So especially useful if you're bringing topography from CAD files in or if you're dealing with any kind of imported geometry that generally just doesn't come in very smooth. This could be super, super helpful, big time saver. But I'd love to hear from you guys on how this would fit in your workflow, how you'd find this helpful. Um, I just love having that SketchUp conversation conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.